Good morning. My name is Jean Schmidt. I have been a member of Riverside Church for almost 30 years. But what may surprise many of you who know me is that when I first joined, I wasn't actively involved in the church. I know, hard to believe, right? But it's true. But I got involved because someone invited me to participate, to join a committee. And then that led me to active participation in the church, working with the Hawks, participating in the food drive, being a part of the greeters ministry, serving on budget and planning, and also serving on the council. And what a rich and blessed life I have had as a result of my participation. Every day, I am enriched and inspired by so many members of this church. Throughout the entire time I've been here, you have provided me with support and encouragement. You have been my family, showing genuine interest, caring, and concern. In addition, through my active participation, I have learned so much. I've been given the opportunity to grow as a person, to learn new things, new interests, new skills, meet new people. In addition, the church has provided me an opportunity to give, to be valued, to make a difference. What an amazing and incredible gift. My current involvement is as the co-chair with Charles King of the Riverside Development Committee. As many of you know, this is a committee of the church council challenged with leading the church in our development project to determine how we can use our property, not only to sustain and develop our mission and figure out new ways that we may participate in our community, but also to sustain us fiscally throughout the next years. As you know, we are celebrating 90 years of the Riverside Church this year, but we are also planning for the next 90 years. Where do we go from here? So even without COVID-19, this would be an incredibly and is an incredibly challenging and exciting time for each of us and for our church. Not only do we have the opportunity to reimagine how we can use our resources and our property to really develop and further our mission and ensure our financial sustainability over the next 90 years, we also have the opportunity to reimagine who we are as a church, to reimagine who and how we want to be in our community. But where are we now? Like the apostles, we are locked in our rooms, fearful. But at the same time, we hear and remember Jesus' promise of sending us the Holy Spirit. And today on Pentecost, we remember that promise and celebrate God's gift to us of the Holy Spirit. As Dr. Wells reminded us today, we did not start the fire, but I say to you, it is up to us to recognize and acknowledge, it, acknowledge the fire and the Holy Spirit in each of us, in each other, and in the world at large. It is also up to us to join together to spread the fire, spread the Holy Spirit, and to join together to create a bonfire that celebrates the Holy Spirit in Jesus Christ, that burns away injustice and inequality, and lights a path forward for each of us, for our church, and for the world. But we need you to participate. We need your fire, your passion, your spirit, your unique gifts. This is our invitation to you. Participate. Give of yourself in whatever way you are drawn. Share your spirit, your fire. Help us build that bonfire. And we especially want you to participate in the development project because this is a project for each of us, the whole church and indeed our whole community. You can begin today by joining us at the virtual coffee hour with Dr. Sam Wells to talk about how we reimagine ourselves. And if you have questions about the RDC, please send them to rdc at trcnyc.org. And lastly, I want to ask you to participate today and invite you to give today as you are able to provide the resources we need as we respond together to support each other in our community 
in these difficult and challenging times. We invite you to give to support our ministries at our website, trcnyc.org slash responding together. God bless.